Hey guys, if your Windows 11 computer is slow to start up, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to share with you a few ways that we can fix this issue and to get the fastest boot up time possible. So there's a few things that need doing and I'll start with the most important. So first you just need to head over to your start menu and we're going to search for task manager and then head over to the task manager window. Now from here we need to come over to the left hand side and you should see this start up apps tab. Inside of startup apps you just need to basically go through this list and disable any apps applications that we don't need starting up when we first launch our computer. So you'll be surprised by how many applications there actually are in here that just automatically start running when we first launch our computer and we have absolutely no idea why. There's no real need for many of these applications to launch up when we turn on our computer. So all you need to do is any applications that we don't want starting up, you're just going to right click on them and go ahead and select disable. And if you want you can actually click this status column here and this will order this by which applications are enabled and which applications are already disabled disabled. As you can see most of mine are already disabled as this does have a big effect on how fast our computer launches up. So do try and disable as many of these as possible and then once you've finished in this list we can close out of this window and the next thing you'll need to do is head over to your start menu and this time search for run and then come over to the run window. Inside of the search box just search for ms config and hit enter and then you'll need to head over to the services tab. Now similar to startup these are all of the services that start up on our computer when we first launch our PC so what you need to do is come over to hide all Microsoft services down at the bottom here and make sure this box is checked this is super important and then you're going to go ahead and just press disable all. We can then press apply and ok to save our changes and this will require you to restart your PC but I'd recommend waiting until the end of this video as you'll need to restart your computer at the end anyway so I'm just going to select exit without restart. Now next thing we need to do is head back over to the start menu, search for control panel and head over to the control panel. From here you should see an option for view by and you just need to make sure this is set to large icons and then we're going to come over to power options and from the left hand side select choose what the power buttons do. Now before we can make any changes to this window here you need to just select change settings that are currently unavailable and you'll need admin privileges to do this. And then at the top here, you'll have this option for turn on fast startup. And as you can see, this is actually recommended by Windows anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and check this box. And then you can press save changes down at the bottom here. Now, for some of you, this turn on fast startup option might not actually be available. And if this isn't available for you, then what you'll need to do is just head over to your start menu and search for CMD. And then right click on the command prompt here and run this as administrator. So to get this option to show up, all we need to do is type in here power CFG space forward slash hibernate space on on and then hit enter and once you've entered that command if we then come back over to this window here and refresh the page that option should now show up for you. So once you've done that we can close out of this window and the next thing you're going to do is head over to your file explorer and from here we just need to come into our computer and locate your C drive. Now once you've located your drive we're going to right click on this come over to properties and inside of the tools tab over here we're going to select optimize and defragment drive so just go ahead and click this optimize button select the C drive or the main drive that you use and hit optimize and then you can just close out of this window now it's not going to make too much of a difference but it can help slightly so let's just close out of here and we're then going to perform a similar sort of task by coming over to our start menu and just searching for disk cleanup and coming over to the disk cleanup tool. Now this is going to get rid of all of our temporary files and our cache data and it can help clear up quite a lot of space on your computer. So what you need to do is first select clean up system files at the bottom here. And this is now going to calculate how much space it can actually save us. And then what you need to do is just come down this list and check all of the options inside of here. Now if there are any things that you want to keep inside of here then obviously keep it unchecked. I mean the only folder that could be worth keeping is this downloaded program files but everything else it's safe to delete and as you can see this saves 1.65 gigabytes of data for me so just go ahead and press ok and then we can just press delete files to continue and once we've done that the next thing we'll need to do is head over to the start menu search for device manager and then just head over to the device manager window now it's a good idea just to make sure our drivers are up to date so just head over to display adapters here and expand this list and you need to locate your graphics card from inside of here mine's this nvidia one at the bottom i do also have an amd integrated graphics card on my computer 
but the NVIDIA one is the one that I'll be using. So I'm just going to right click this and come into update driver and you can press search automatically for drivers and just make sure you are running the latest driver on your device and we can then close out of here and you're going to head back over to the start menu once again, search for CMD and once again, right click on the command prompt and run as administrator. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is just perform a quick scan of our core Windows system files, just to ensure that nothing's missing or damaged, as this can also cause issues with our computer running slowly and slow startup issues. So all you need to do is just type in SFC space slash scan now, and then hit enter. And this can take a few minutes to complete. So you'll just need to go ahead and wait for this verification to get to 100% here. And if any issues are detected, it will automatically be repaired inside of this window and then we can go ahead and just close out of here now the last thing you'll need to do to speed up your startup is just to head over to your start menu and search for settings head over to the settings app and from the left hand side come all the way down to windows update press the check for updates button here and just ensure you are running the latest version of windows as new software updates can include optimizations and bug fixes and things like that so it's a good idea just to make sure you're fully up to date here and then you'll need to go ahead and restart your computer and that should have fixed any slow start startup issues you were experiencing. Now, if you've tried all of these steps and that's not working for you, there is one final thing that I'd recommend as a last resort, and that's just to head back over to the settings window. And this time you'll need to come over to system from the left-hand side, scroll all the way down to recovery, and inside of recovery options, you'll have this option here to reset this PC. So if I just click reset PC, then we do actually have the option to keep all of our files. So if I press this, this is going to keep all of my files, like my photos and documents, and it's going to perform a clean installation of Windows. Now the only thing this will delete is any third-party applications that you have installed on your computer so you will need to go ahead and reinstall those but rest assured that all of your personal data will stay intact so just go ahead and select local reinstall here and then you'll need to follow the steps on screen in order to carry out this reset. Now like I said this is a last resort but this will definitely help your computer in terms of speed and it's really as simple as that guys. If this video did help you then please consider dropping a like and subscribe subscribing until next time.